Harvest co-founder Bob Thomas was inspired by his recurring dream of a star. He envisioned a vertical axis wind turbine with columns called stators positioned around it on the points of a star. Those stators were aerodynamically shaped like airplane wings so that no matter what direction the wind was blowing, the stators would funnel wind in toward the center rotor. With the support of his co-founders, Bob quit his job and went to work designing and building his turbine. Named the Windstar, it was a sturdy and highly efficient turbine, but expensive to build because of how much material was needed for the stators. The Windstar turbine went through many prototypes, culminating in the largest version ever built, the 1066. One day while examining the turbine, Bob noticed that there was a lot of damage on one stator on the corner of the rotor. He realized that the blade passing close by the stator was causing the wind to speed up in the narrow gap in between. Bob hypothesized that this effect could be duplicated by placing turbines close together and that by doing so the efficiency of the turbines would increase. You could get the effects of the stators without all the expense. He tested his idea out by building an experimental array in Palm Springs, California. He started with just one turbine held up by guy wires. He ran it for a year and collected data on the wind speeds and energy output. Then he installed two more turbines on either side of the first one and collected data for another year. He found that with no other changes, the energy output of the center turbine doubled in low wind speeds. These turbines created the same effect as the stators with much less material. Bob named it the coupled vortex effect. In the years since Bob ran his first experiment, many other scientists have validated and added to his results. These studies have found that with proper placement, vertical axis wind turbines can match the traditional horizontal axis turbines in how efficiently they convert wind energy to electricity. Studies have even shown that short vertical axis turbines placed below tall horizontal axis turbines can draw down faster moving wind through the rotors of the tall turbines. That can increase the tall turbine's energy output by as much as 10%. In 2011, a California Energy Commission grant paid for the world's top vertical axis turbine aerodynamic modeling company to look at the data. They confirmed that the coupled vortex effect would work for all H-type turbines that are installed close together. Today, Wind Harvest International has moved beyond the original star-shaped design for our turbines. We've continued to innovate, and each iteration brings us closer to our dream of a robust, efficient, and easily built turbine that can handle turbulent wind. And our turbines still make use of the coupled vortex effect discovered by Bob Thomas. It's been a long road to get to where we are today, but we know we're on the path to success thanks to our visionary founders and their guiding star.